Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So it's that time of the month again when it's time to share with you guys the top widgets for the iPhone for the month of December. So let's begin. So of course the first widget is called IBDB. So IMDB is an awesome of course site where you can check out movie reviews, um, check out a lot of movie information about the movies, actors, all that stuff. But how I've been using their widget is pretty awesome. So they have two types of widgets, this app. So they have the top news section. So right there, they talk about like, you know, news about in the movie world. Um, so like uh, when Christopher Nolan, of course, attacked HBO and Warner Brothers, of course. Um, uh, news about Marvel movies that are dropping uh, that, that Disney talked about earlier this week. Um, and also my other favorite widget from this app is the fan favorites so what a lot of people are watching kind of currently right now um, what's really popular right now in the movie world and what other people are really watching at this time and so yeah it's just really awesome and it's just a nice way just to get informed of course of what's happening um, in the entertainment business because there's so much stuff going on and of course seeing what other people really what other movies to watch maybe recommendations because uh, sometimes uh, I'm on Netflix and I don't know what to watch and so I just go on here and see what other people watched and maybe if it's on Netflix I'll check it out. Next we have Ermine. I hope I'm pronouncing that at, uh, this widget properly Ermine. So Ermine is a calendar app um, and of course they have an awesome calendar widget right here. So for the month of December, uh, it's a Christmas theme, winter theme, uh, course calendar, which makes sense of course. So, and also what I like about the other widget that they have, of course, is that you can see the month, uh, like this currently month in December. And of course you can check out the next month currently ahead so that you can make plans and all that stuff. And it's just a great way. And of course it just, you know, if you want to have theme inspired a uh, calendar, then this is the widget for you because it is awesome. And every month the uh, the calendar artwork changes automatically to match the month uh, as well. Next we have Castro. So finally, after months of waiting, finally my favorite podcast app uh, has a widget. Um, so of course the widget is pretty simple of course you get to see what what podcast is up next so as you can see I'm, I'm like it's ready and ready to be listened to this podcast right here and it's just super simple it's just you get to see what uh, podcasts are up next and that's pretty much it and of course you could control it from here just by tapping on the widget it will open of course the app so that you can go and uh, automatically play the app as well. Next, we have, of course, a not so, you know, uh, this needs to get a sh shout out uh, by Apple, of course, is their battery widget. Uh, so like me, I have the Apple Watch, which I haven't charged uh, for days now. Uh, but of course, I do have, I do use the widget app a lot to see the battery life on my iPhone, of course, uh, right on the home screen as well. Um, and just uh, think a widget that has not been really, you know, properly given its uh, time to shine and all that because Apple has done an amazing job of course with this widget app it's really popular um, and I think it needs to get a, more of a shout out of how awesome this widget is so yeah the battery widget is just an awesome app that if you haven't really used it I highly recommend you use it because it is really great and it's just a great way to see battery information quickly uh, of all your other devices that you have on your Apple ecosystem. Next, we have Game Track. So, Game Track recently, of course, if you have seen, I've been streaming a lot now. Um, been playing a lot of video games, well, mostly only Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops, Cold War, um, and of course, I'm using Game Track to track my experience and my time on gaming. So, of course, as you can see, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, like more than like. 10 hours and all that stuff I since I bought it. Um, it's just an awesome game. Um, and also, of course, I'm attracting also incoming, uh, uh, upcoming games. So like the new Star Wars Lego Sega and of course Halo Infinite, uh, whenever that comes and drops. Of course, I've also played uh, Cyberpunk, which I don't recommend you play on your Xbox One or your PS4 right now and just wait if you ever had the chance to buy a PC or the next gen console because it sucks uh, playing on the Xbox One. 
So yeah, I've been using Game Track to track that. It's just an awesome way, of course, to keep track of what upcoming games you're waiting for, of course, with this widget, of course, and also to see what games you're currently playing. Maybe like that you don't forget uh, some games that maybe have in your backlog. You could quickly check right here with this widget. Um, so yeah, it's just a great way just to keep track of your games. Next, we have Apple News. So another news, another, I mean, I mean another a widget by Apple and this app well this widget is really really great of course uh, because of course you can see the top news stories of your area so of course I check out what's going on in Canada of course um, and then of course uh, what I like also is some cool interesting uh, stuff that you might be into so like uh, certain topics like bicycle stuff I like to read about that stuff and of course the top stories right here of course to see what's going on around like here in Canada of course I have it right there and of course it's just a great way just to keep up to date quickly without having to open the app and seeing what's trending of course in your area of top news stories Next, we have another Apple ha uh, widget called Screen Time. So Screen Time, of course, many of you guys know, of course, Apple last year uh, really wanted to, you know, try to help people not use their phones a lot. And they released this feature where you can track your screen time, of course, um, without having to download a third party app. So of course in screen time, of course, it's just a great widget to have. Um, I have it on my home screen, of course, this app just to track how much hours I've actually spent maybe throughout the day on uh, the phone, of course. So as you can see, I've spent, you know, pretty much two hours uh, today. Um, so, you know, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, but yeah, you can see what apps you really spend a lot. So as you can see, I spent one hour on TikTok. So yeah, I spent a lot. In shot, of course, to edit sometimes my streams, of course. Um, Instagram, Snapchat, and MacHash, of course, you can see it right there and others. So yeah, it's just a really great way just to get some information about how much time you use on just spending time on your iPhone or any other device, of course. Um, it's just a great way just to keep track and just to, you know, eye-opening of what apps you're currently using a lot. Maybe you're trying to slow down uh, some apps usage, then this is one great way just to keep track of it. And it's just a really, really great way just to uh, track your time on your phone. Next, we have Siri suggestions. So another, another uh, Apple widget, of course. Um, these apps, of course, these widgets, I mean, are not getting a lot of show time, of course, on other applications, on other videos. Like Siri suggestions, one of my favorite ones, of course. Here you can run your favorite shortcuts right now that I'm currently running, of course, a lot. You get to launch quickly photo apps uh, or other applications, other quick messaging as well. Siri suggestions on the top, of course, to see the top apps you're currently using the most at a certain time. So yeah, I've used Siri suggestions pretty much every single day whenever I drop down, of course. Um, I use it a lot just to open apps. Maybe in the morning, I always, it knows already in the morning, I use MacHash. So MacHash is already there for me, ready to open. Um, at night, I usually open TikTok or just a certain times. It just knows already what type of apps I want to open up at certain times of the day. So that's why I really, really am happy with Siri suggestions of how long, how far it has come. Um, and so yeah, really happy with it. Next, we have Spotify. So Spotify recently released their new widget, of course, um, not, not too long ago, of course. And here, of course, you get to see the top songs or your top playlist, your top uh, albums. You get to see quickly of what you're currently listening to, of course. And then if you want, you can just click on the song and it will start automatically opening the app and play the song for you. Next, we have, of course, and not least, we have Things. So Things is an awesome to-do app that I have been using for a very long time. And, of course, I really use their widget every single day to check out some cool topics that I have for um uh, some cool YouTube video ideas so as you can see right there and of course an extra little widget for this the top 10 but it'll be top 11 is sticker cards so sticker cards of course many of you guys know I did a video about this app is where you can quickly save uh, Twitter tweets um, on cards and then you can share them on Instagram stories or other social network sites that you like um, as well so yeah it just shows you the random uh, uh, tweets that you have saved throughout the time of using the app uh, every time you just you know you could quickly just uh, See what uh, tweets you have saved and just a great way just to look back at 2020 of course and see how 
interesting it has been this year. So yeah, those are the top 10 or top 11 uh, widgets for the month of December. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that does help. And, you know, it'll help to get to that goal of, you know, uh, 10,000 uh, subscribers. So as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.